there. The power is up and we are ready to start. Uh, you'll notice uh, tanks are both in off. Right upper switch is in gravity, left lower switch wing. Our quantity, this shows your internal quantity and this shows your wing, internal wings quantity. Okay, now that our aircraft is up and running, we swap our right upper switch to normal. The uh, reason why you don't do that prior is because there's a caution in the uh, flight manual that tells you that um, uh, when you start the aircraft, start in gravity, and you only use the normal uh, when the engines are running. Okay, now we're going to simulate that we're flying. All right, we took off. We've left our switches the way they were. We got our tip tanks in off. We got our right upper switch in normal. And we got our lo left lower switch in wing. Now, once you're airborne and you're you're climbing out or you've, uh, you know, you got to a stable altitude, uh, whatever the case may be, and you've burned off some of your uh, wing, internal wing fuel. That's the fuel that's in the wing right here. So you've burned uh, off some of that fuel. Uh, it's uh, now you want to switch to your tip tanks and it's a good idea to switch it uh, You know before 400 pounds uh, But once you're stable and you're flying you're you're climbing out This is a good time uh, to go ahead and swap to your tip tanks So we're gonna flip those up Now what's gonna happen and I'm gonna bring this up because uh, I don't fly with this But I want to show you the fuel system. So what's gonna happen is as this fuel is being uh, burned, uh, your tip tanks are going to start to to transfer out and fill up your fuel quantity. All right. So what we're going to do is now we're going to simulate uh, that we're running out of tip tank fuel. Going to simulate down to five. I don't remember. I think it's like three or two that the light comes on. So we'll just keep going. Two. So now you can see over here we have our left tip tank empty and our right tip tank empty. Now, if you were to continue running like this, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to suck this fuel dry. So now what you're going to do is flip these to off, and you're going to flip this to auxiliary pylon tanks. Now we're going to start feeding the auxiliary pylon tanks. All right, now that uh, we're, we're simulating that we are flying and we've swapped over to the auxiliary tanks. And as you can see, our wing tanks are staying full. Now, if they were not full, if they didn't get full, they would still continue to fill uh, while you're you're flying until they're 100%. But And then all the fuel from your wing tanks, your external wing tanks, going to your central tank. We're going to watch this thing uh, count down, and then you'll see... These drop to fill back up to full. So you see, once it gets uh, to 80%, it'll fill back up. Uh, not all the way, but close. Uh, and, then it, and then it won't fill again until it gets back to 80% uh, again. Okay, now you can see we've been flying for a while. Uh, you know, of course, simulated. Uh, and we're waiting for our... Wing, uh, external wing tanks to empty out. There you go. So master caution light comes on and our pylon tanks are empty. So we go ahead now and switch this back to wing. And this is what we have for fuel now. All right, we're back at our uh, parking ramp and we're ready to shut down the engine. So what you want to do uh, before you shut down is put that to gravity. And that'll prevent us from overworking the system, over pressurizing. And that is how the fuel system works. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, short video. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, feel, to, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you very much.